How's it going ladies and gentlemen? Today I'm gonna shoot my wife's cookware. <laughs> she got these copper coated pans. I said, hey, you know what else? You know what, I got this copper coated, so I wonder how it's gonna hold up. Guarantee these are getting destroyed in this video. I got two of them. This one seems to be a little thicker. It might, it might hold up to a nine millimeter. I don't know, I mean. Comparing thicknesses, I don't know how well you can even see that on the video. This one, uh, this one was a cheapo we got at like a dollar store. This one though, we've had a while. You can tell this one might hold up to the nine millimeter. We're gonna go ahead and take the AK-47 to them both just to do it. But I'm interested, I'm curious what's gonna happen. I know they'll be destroyed, but I mean, how badly? Going ahead with the uh, training ammo. We're using just this nine mil Beretta. Um, this is the 92X perf performance. It's actually one of my favorite handguns to shoot now. Training ammunition, hey, I'm a cheapskate. When we're out here just having fun, I'm just gonna use whatever. You can't get more generic than this, right? We'll start with the, the thinner pan, and I can go ahead and zoom this in, actually. It <laughs> really was, uh, I don't know what I was expecting, I guess. Right through, ooh. Okay, cool looking. This might be, I don't know, this is artwork, right? Hang this on the wall. I don't know, is it even worth shooting the AK at it? Yeah, I brought it out here, I wanna shoot it. I mean, there you have it. I thought I'd do, I thought I'd rip it into more pieces than this. Maybe we need to do a full 30 round mag on it. Oh, there's that one. Goes through it like butter. What happened was I ended up hitting exactly where the handle was. Actually, <laughs> we're missing a piece of handle, but it was there. All right, let's see. This one's a little thicker. <laughs> I don't have I don't have high hopes for it. Start with the nine millimeter. Well, you see this pan is made in like layers or something. I don't know what's up with my shots today. I missed, okay, I made three out of five. Or did two go out of one hole? Well, let's try AK-47. All right, let's do the AK-47. Could have mentioned before, I guess, 7.62 by 39, I'm shooting FMJ, Bellum. So, yeah, copper coating versus copper coating. Uh, let's just, let's just go for it. It's still standing. I'm trying to hit the handle. <laughs> oh, these, uh... Okay, on this one, I can tell the difference between the uh, 762 by 39 versus nine millimeter exit wounds. Yeah, look at that. Okay, so maybe a little thicker pan made a little difference. I don't know, I still think I could hang this on the wall. Yeah, we got it. 
See if I can get that one little strand. It's hanging on by a thread. There we go. We got one straight through the handle itself, actually. That was a good shot. So the handle was here, ripped off. This area, like folded in on itself or something. I think I might have hit it while it was spinning maybe. I gotta warn you not to try this at home. Obviously this is a, obviously this is a curved shape. You never want to shoot at curved, I mean, it's not steel, so. Curved steel, definitely, I, I wouldn't be shooting at. Um, but you're not supposed to, sh also, you know, shoot at curved surfaces. That, that copper coating of the bullet can bounce back at you. I mean, these are ballistic-proof sunglasses, so I'm not too worried about this. I knew these weren't going to hold up very well. <laughs> um, you can see how thick the pan was. I mean, anything we shot at it went through it like butter. I wonder if a 22 LR how a 22 would have done. Probably could have started with that. Oh well. <laughs> well, beautiful day for shooting. I had fun. Thanks for watching. Neckbone out.